Hey guys, this is Kirsten again. I thought I would give you a quick tutorial on how to set up uh, Miller's Remote Suite Plus, which is what I use for, um, well, all the schools that I shoot, plus the dance studio that I shoot. Okay, so there's a couple options here. Schools, which is basically the pop and drop, you know, sit down, head and shoulders, like you can see in this picture. And then sports and events is Little League, dance schools, peewee football, pop Warner football, whatnot. So I do sports and events for dance and the schools are under schools. So when you're setting up, you have to be really careful because the default settings are different and it will mess you up if you don't read per our last email. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new order and I'm just gonna call it the dance studio. Okay, so now let's go real quick and um, zip down this. Add images to Zenfolio, no thanks. Standard versus metallic, we want standard. I think it defaults at luster coating. You have to uncheck that shit because it's expensive and it'll double the price of your order. Okay, well not double, but you know what I'm saying. Uncheck that. We don't want the mounted. I don't want a texture. I do, however, want the billfolds die cut, the wallets die cut. That is a feature that's super sweet. Um, I want everything packaged individually. Um, you're a fool if you don't check that box because to have a box show up on your doorstep that's you know one package per child with a name on it is fantastic. Now, I check off keeping envelopes closed because it's kind of a pain in the ass once they're sealed to pry it open again. And people like to just peek in and go, oh, yep, I have the right kid. Yay. You know, whatnot. Okay. So I for inserts, I don't do any inserts and I don't mail the prints to the clients because I'm not spending five dollars per person. Um, I just drop off all the, uh, I just drop off the box of pictures at the dance studio, for example. Okay. And then if you want this just to be a studio order, um, it says sample printed across it, but we don't want to do that. We want to order for our clients. Okay, so that's number one. Number one is done. Free shipping to my address, perfect. Then I'm gonna hit configure. Okay, so this is where I have all of my um, different price lists, although they're super similar, so I don't even know why <laughs> I have this many. Um, but we are going to go ahead and do a new a new option so you can see how it's done. This is the part that really confused me when I was getting started and Miller's actually literally held my hand and talked me through it for like two hours. It was super awesome. Okay, so let's just go ahead and type in, whoops, the Dance Studio 2019, whatever. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and hit Create Packages. So, of course, like a ding dong, I don't have my price list for the dance studio right in front of me because that would be just too easy. So I'm going to just go ahead and um, just kind of make it up and you can follow along. Okay, so my package A, and you can call it whatever you want. Mine just happens to be package A. I like writing in the retail price is $75. That's what I sell it for. Um, that way it'll tell you your profit margin, which is kind of sweet. Okay, so for $75, they get two eight by tens, two five by sevens, 12 wallets. And why they call them billfolds, I have no idea. It's not like the friggin' 40s. Um, let's see. And they also get a cla five by seven class photo. So group one. Okay, then you're gonna hit save and review. Nice, add new. Package B, it just so happens that's what I call it. Uh, the reason package A is that much more expensive is it does come with the digital image. That being said, I only sell the digital images to schools. I do not sell the digital image to dance, but that's totally my call. Um, I make much more money selling profits than I do selling digitals. Um, but you know, again, that's totally a preference thing. Okay, so package B, package B comes with two eight by tens, two five by sevens, whoops, eight wallets and a class photo. So I used to not sell the class photo and then hit save. I used to not sell the class photo um, back in the olden days. And then I noticed people 
we're not buying it. Now, I love my individual pictures of my daughter, but I love love, especially for her. She loves looking back at her three-year-old dance group photo, class photo, and all the little three-year-olds and two of them she's still really close with today. Um, they're like, you know, her inner circle today. So it's funny looking back and going, oh my God, you know, this is so cute. So it is included with every single package. You literally can't not get it. Okay, so I am not going to do package C and package D because you get the idea. And also I do sell a copy of my price list on my Etsy page, which is DanceTog, D-A-N-C-E-T-O-G. Okay, now I do have all my little tchotchkes. Some I do not get on Miller's, some I do. Things I do get on Miller's, keychain, dog tag, um, or the metal luggage tag, uh, let's see, metal water bottle, blah, blah, blah. Things I do not get on Miller's are the deluxe magnet, the regular magnet. Um, I like the aspect ratio and the rounded corners much better from Mpix, so I order from them. So anyway, so what I do purchase from here, I purchase from here. Okay, so now we're going to add new, and we're going to click on specialty items. Those are the tchotchkes. Okay, so we're going to do, I think, general templates, sports, whatever. All right, so let's do keychain. Blank. Oh, I like the vivid rectangle keychain. Those are the little metal ones that are square rectangle like this. Those are my favorite, favorite, favorite. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click. Um, oh, shit. You know what? Okay, let's go back. Um, I think you can, I don't think you need to do one at a time. I think you can keep. Um, let's see. Luggage tag, metal luggage tag. Perfect. Okay, let's just hit save. So now all the things through Miller's that you, you know what? I'm an idiot. So we're going to go ahead and delete this. That went in package C. You want to click on a la carte. I'm an idiot. Okay, then click on specialty items. Um, and then we'll do the keychain, just for example. I like the vivid rectangular. It's metal. It's awesome. Okay, so now you can, f so my a la carte literally is this, comma, this, comma, this, comma, this, comma, metal water bottle, comma, dog tag, comma, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now the dance studio should be all set up. Okay, here, let's do maybe one more thing. Specialty item. Let's do a luggage tag. Metal luggage tag. Save. Okay, so now you can see all the um, a la carte options. So now we're going to hit build. So when you go to build, now we are going to go where um, the pictures live. In this case, it's 2019 Dance Studio. We're going to just do Saturday because those are the older kids. Select photo. Okay, so now these are all the individual pictures. Okay, so I make my own um, memory mate. It's not that fancy, but who cares? And then I order them just as an eight by 10 and they're like a dollar, you know, 50, whatever. They're like super cheap. Okay. So that being said, let me see if I can quickly use my daughter. Okay. So this is my girl. So who cares? So my images are pretty much straight out of camera. Um, as far as the background is pulled tight, I do not clamp it or tape it. I actually just let it free float on the ground. And I notice that it stays less wrinkled doing it that way than taping it. It's actually a phenomenon I can't even describe. Um, then uh, you can see my light, whatever, whatever. She's so fancy. Um, literally right here in the front, there's one strip. And it looks like a wrinkle, but it's not. It's just the way the fabric was dyed. So I have to take the healing band-aid, whatever it's called, and just go and then that's done. There's also a little tiny rip under her foot. So the big girls can stand on it and kick and it's no big deal. The little tiny girls, you know, they're so 
wiggly and squirmy that they usually don't, in which case I have to go in and just spot heel out the little tiny rip. And the rip's the size of a quarter. I mean, it's tiny. But it's in the exact perfect spot where the kids have to stand. So it's actually really nice. Um, but editing it out takes one second. So la- like literally a second. So last year I timed myself because I was trying to figure out my dollar per hour which if you edit at all, your dollar per hour goes straight in the shitter. And I don't want that. So I do average about four seconds per picture. Okay. Um, So we're going to put my daughter. Her name is not Sally, but that's her nickname for some god awful reason. I do call her Sally. So let's say she's going to get package A. And then it's saying, oh, wait a minute, you need to do your group shot. So it's like, gosh darn it, group shot. Oh, here it is. It's actually right there. So that's perfect. Okay, so here's their group shot. Yay. Okay, so what I do, um, because I do pull back a smidge if they get 8 by 10s you don't want to, you know, go nuts. So the billfolds, I actually like um, just recentering a smidge, 5 by 7s I did kind of leave a little bit of extra space. I don't usually leave that much, but who knows what I was thinking. And then 8 by 10s you don't want to have to... Um, You do not want to have to edit. If you do, however, here's a feature. Down here, it says open up in Photoshop. So you literally just click on this. It brings you to Photoshop. You can edit whatever you have to do. Check it, and it'll hit save. Hit yes, and it says reload current image. Yes. It's fabulous. Okay, so she's going to get package A. There you go. And let's do do a keychain because I just love my keychains. So, um, same thing. So I give, that's a little, a little tight. That's what he said. Okay. I like giving people the option of having either like tap on one side, ballet on the other, or one kid on one side, one kid on the other, or, um, the group on one side. So let's just, I have just another, um, pose of her. Okay, so this one I did not edit. This is straight, it's like straight, straight out of camera. So you can see the little discolorations, but I literally take the Band-Aid and go whoop, 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 done. And that's actually the rip by her foot. Maybe it's the size of a nickel. It's little. Um, anyway, you get the idea. So that would be the keychain. Then you're going to hit save and record. Then you literally just go to the next person. So this is also my daughter. Let me find. And of course, I don't, my daughter's too. She's too little, I can't see. Okay, so this is my daughter. So we can double click on that, bring it down here. This one, she'll get package B. So now, When you're ordering all in one costume, one class, this will automatically be there. But guess what? (laughs) When you change to the next class, oh, oops, I missed it. You need to drag and drop the next. And you need to be very, very, very mindful about this because a friend of mine literally forgot to change the group photo and like, you know, 10 classes deep and then it was a cluster. I like just doing a little bit of wiggle room like this. I mean, it's usually pretty close like that. Okay, so see, this 8x10 looks stupid to me. Like, I would not mat and frame that. That would piss me off. So I'm going to click on Photoshop. I'm going to click on, I usually keep it on the 11 by 15 ratio. So I'm just going to pull this back a smidge. Make sure the content aware box is checked so it can do magic. Ta-da. Okay, then, oh, I see a sequin on the ground from who knows what. Oh, <laughs> that's not a sequin. It's on my, it's on my monitor. Okay, so I have to clean my monitor. Click the X, click Save. Now, when you go back here, reload, yes. Now the 8x10 is much less tight, and it's fine. And then you can kind of wiggle it around. Okay. Oh, and then you hit 
save. When you're done, and it takes a million hours, but it's like a million hours less quicker. Then you click on review. Okay, so now it says your order is $22 because I'm only doing, you know, a couple things, whatever. But it talks you, it shows you um, everything. Okay, so then we're going to go to submit. I go by sequence. So then all the classes are together. Upload over the internet. Upload files. Continue. Oh, shit. Um, I don't want to actually really send this. But then you hit OK, and it sends. OK, so I don't want to really do that, because that would be silly. Um, anyway, and that's it. I hope this is helpful. It was really confusing for me for some reason, but um, I, I hope that um, made it simple for you to understand. And then schools is literally the exact same, but just read all the things, because some things default differently. And with schools, they don't die cut the wallets. I just found that out. Um, Anyway, I hope this helps. Let me know if it does. All right, bye.